Here is a quick tutorial to tackle several actors walking with Photosoft footsteps. This example is similar to the traditional walk and talk procedural TV drama scenes. With Photosoft footsteps, not only we help the realism of the scene in the original version, or if a problem happened to the source audio and the actors need to overdub the whole scene, but also create the international version where everything needs to be recreated so foreign dubbers can dub over it. First, check the scene out. Memorize any specific movement that is not the same. Select and tweak the sound of one character first. Do one character at a time and match each of their steps. Select the sound and tweak. Add cloth and effect settings if needed. Play the steps using a MIDI controller or your keyboard. Record both audio and MIDI. Sometimes your performance will be close enough and sometimes you will need to go back to the MIDI track and tweak. Whichever your preference. Once you are happy with the results, choose the sounds and settings for your next character. Create a new audio track. You can use the same contact instrument or you can have a separate dedicated MIDI track for each character on screen. In this example we will use the same contact instrument for both characters, but with different settings and samples. It is important to mute the previous track, as to not create confusion. For this new track, we will chose a men heel type of shoe over concrete, and pitch it up a tiny bit. The man on the left has rubber shoes and therefore will be quieter, while the man on the right will have men heels with a more prominent sound. Since the characters are somewhat away from the camera and in an open place, removing some of the lows will help create the idea of the samples being in that space once other elements are added. In this case both men are in front of the camera and therefore do not need panning or very minimal panning. Next, let's add some extra cloth, as these types of suits are somewhat noisy. Only one cloth pass will work. To add some cloth without the footstep sounds, we mute the footstep mixer and turn the volume knob of the cloth up. The cloths are also round robin, just like the steps. This extra cloth pass will be mixed very low in the mix, so do not equalize it or add extra effects yet. Let's start adding some ambiences. For a realistic and thick immersive sound, we will layer different ambiences to cover low, mids and highs. Some with traffic and some just wind. Now let's add some procedural drama music. It feels a little empty so let's add some details and mixing. The actor on the left has a leather briefcase with some chains. We will use the process as the cloth pass, but with the leather and chain samples. Use the slower walk trigger. Each of the cloth selections follows the type of walk intensity. Since the briefcase is not being moved a lot, the slow leather with chain samples will perform better. Mix the chain and leather so it is a low in the mix. Finish mixing the track to taste. Even though the idea of this tutorial is to showcase Photosoft footsteps, the dialogue is the main focus and everything else is to help create realism. Please visit photosoft.com for more information.